Hello friends, Coast Chris here. Thanks for stopping by the channel. So, I forgot my fun hat today, but I went with my tried and true OD Green here. And uh, I wanted to talk to you today just a little bit more and continue the series about uh, investing. And the purpose of this series is to help you become financially free so that you can enjoy life on your terms and gain financial freedom to go and enjoy the outdoors or whatever gives you satisfaction. Um, so you can live a fulfilling life. Now, the stock market, we've gone over so far uh, how it's one of the best tools to create wealth in the first video, some exciting concepts, uh, why to invest. And then in our, our second video, we've gone over some ways to make money in the stock market through dividends, through compound interest. Uh, today, we're gonna go over what to buy. What, uh, so I've, I've gone over um, some basics about what to buy in general, but we're gonna go into more specifics about what to buy, which is the greatest question you could ask in the stock market. What do I buy? What do I invest in? What do I put my hard-earned money in? So for me, where I have found success is in three different categories. Um, the first one here is gonna be the S&P 500 index funds. And now an example of an S&P 500 index fund, like we've gone over is VFIIX. Now this is your, your bare minimum. You're gonna average about 10% a year, uh, which is better than any uh, savings account or money market account that you could have. So that's your bare minimum. If you have any money um, left over after you've had all your expenses, go ahead and consider putting it into an S&P 500 index fund. Sorry, there's kind of a glare. Uh, if you can. So uh, that's your bare minimum. And that's where I put my money. It's, it's sort of held there in a, a holding state, um, unless I plan to keep it there for a longer term before I, I move it somewhere else. The second thing and place to consider are trends. Now, there's several trends that are going on right now. Uh, and I highly recommend you check out uh, Financial Education. He goes over some major trends as well. Check out uh, Motley Fool Money and Jerry Romine. Uh, those are three places that I get a lot of my financial information and news from. And they go over trends, especially Motley Fool Money. Uh, they go over some really high level trends. And one trend that I've discovered uh, through Motley Fool Money is the war on cash. Um, and an example of a, a company that benefits from the war on cash is PayPal. And I've gotten over 100% uh, return on my investment in PayPal uh, and as uh, financial education uh, would say that's a home run so I highly recommend that you take a look at some of these trends uh, electric vehicles is another trend with the major competitors in that space being Tesla here in the States and Neo over in China both companies have uh, skyrocketed and, and that's a trend um, but what the war on cash is and I highly recommend you take a look into this is in developed countries and uh, gradually developing countries, cash is going away. I hardly have any cash in my wallet now, and uh, older folks that grew up with cash may still, but uh, it's, it's pretty obvious. You can see that more and more people are using credit cards, debit cards, uh, especially during the pandemic, because cash is kind of gross with how many tans it's touched. Uh, and it's mostly, it's like what, 80 or 90% cotton, uh, and it's like a cloth. Uh, so it, it, it absorbs a whole bunch of germs, and it's nasty. There's been a, what they call a trend, war on cash. Companies like PayPal, Venmo, uh, Visa, MasterCard, anything that is uh, cashless and enables people to uh, do transactions without cash, they've really, really exploded, and it's still a trend. Um, you know, Visa is getting into China and uh, all these developing countries. Not that China is a developing country anymore, but that's a trend. Look for those. Get a good source of information um, online, through any podcasts, invest like a boss. I also recommend they go over trends um, and invest in trends. And the third thing that I recommend is for people to invest in things that they know and love, but to go one step further. So what I mean by that is in your ETFs, your S&P 500 ETFs, take a look at the companies that are actually there. Uh, Disney, Walmart, Target, um, Apple. 
And taking an example of Apple, you can invest then, if, if you take a look at those S&P 500 companies and you say, well, I really like Apple. I use their computers, their iPhones. Um, if you like Apple, go ahead and invest directly in Apple. But better yet, invest in the things that you know and love with one step farther. So this first one, uh, Cruise, C-R-U-S, uh, that is a company which enables me right now to be recorded on my iPhone. They do the, the, the chips that uh, create audio and the vibration, it's actually, an, uh, it's a, it used to be a physical motor that shook your phone, now it's this, uh, it's an audio pitch that shakes your phone. Uh, so every time you hear somebody's voice coming through an iPhone, that is done through their products. That's, that's a supplier for Apple. Now, an argument can be said uh, they are too heavily reliant on Apple and that they need to diversify their portfolio, but Apple isn't going away anytime soon, so it's, it's pretty safe. And suppliers of those companies, so uh, they're, they're gonna be that one step farther, do a little bit of research, say, okay, I love my iPhone. Who produces the glass that goes into an iPhone? Invest in that company. Because the farther you can get from the retail product, the more you have for a potential uh, money maker. Uh, because that, that product can then be used in you know, Samsung, it can be used elsewhere, whereas an iPhone, it's really, it's, it's already done. And uh, their margin for profit is gonna be less because you know, it's retail. And so Carrier here is a HVAC, an AC company, and here, up, up north, and uh, it's getting to be cold, people turn on their heat. I grew up down south, people turn on the AC. And things that you do all the time are probably gonna be ways that you can then invest in that company because you're not, you're not gonna be unique in the fact that you turn on your AC in the summer and heat in the winter. Um, everybody else does the same thing. So find a company that uh, will help you benefit from those things that you do all the time. If you like driving electric cars, invest in electric cars. If you shop at Target only because you love the atmosphere and the experience you get at Target or Dick's or Barnes & Noble, uh, go ahead and invest in those companies and then take it one step further and be like, well, who, who supplies you know, my favorite brand at Dick's? Uh, you know, if I go and invest in Levi Strauss, where do they get their cotton? Can I invest in that company? Because that will give you just that little bit more diversification as well as potentially profit margins. So now these are some high level concepts of what to invest in. Uh, now when you look at a stock in particular, say you're looking at uh, CRUS, uh, what are you looking for? You're probably gonna be faced with some stock charts and what I look for are companies that have a beautiful stock chart. Let me take a sip of coffee out of my Coasty mug here real quick. Shameless plug for my Teespring products. Uh, it's a great way to support the channel and what I do. Uh, please like, subscribe, and check out my Coasty swag link. I appreciate it. So when you're looking at a stock to invest in, uh, you're going to want to find companies that you believe have a, a potential growth. Uh, and, but you don't want that company's stock chart to look, say, something like this. It's going along, it's going along, it's going along, and then it shoots up like that. And this is, I don't know, they'll say it's 22,000, and this is 2020 and it just shut up all of a sudden. Well, of course, the best time to invest in it was probably gonna be back here or there, right before it shot up. Um, and companies like this are gonna be tempting. If you believe that they still are gonna shoot up, go ahead, absolutely invest in it. But what you wanna find are companies that are still at that stage of their life. They have this steady progression and you think that, you know, either they're gonna continue that steady progression and it's gonna be a safe stock for you to invest in, or 
you think that they're about to shoot up because they're, you know, an unrealized potential. Um, one stock that I, I would recommend that you take a look at is uh, Planet 13. So Planet 13 is a, uh, it's in the, the marijuana industry and it has the world's largest dispensary out in uh, Las Vegas. That's the kind of company where it's over the counter. Now there's, there's two ways to buy stocks and it's gonna be over the counter, which is buying it directly from the company. That's usually the case if it's a smaller company. Um, some of the times it's also known as penny stocks um, and those are a little bit more risky. But the reason why I'd have you take a look at uh, Planet 13 is because they are really succeeding in a place that has a lot of growth. And that's going back to those trends we talked about. Uh, you know, legalization has, has come in the states, uh, state by state, and it's, it's growing. It's a little bit more risky, but mostly what you're gonna be looking to buy are stocks on the exchanges. And that's gonna be your NASDAQ, uh, which is more tech stocks, your New York Stock Exchange, which is going to be pretty much everything, um, and then foreign exchanges. So like the Toronto Stock Exchange or uh, something like that. You're going to be looking at those because those are proven companies, especially if it's on the S&P 500 list. Uh, those are companies that are proven to be profitable in order to get onto the S&P 500. That's going to be where you, you want to start. Um, so take a look at those companies. Um, some that I would recommend uh, for 2020 are companies like Peloton, uh, anything that um, benefits from people being at home more. So McCormick Spices, uh, Peloton, which is a, a fitness, home fitness uh, system company. Uh, look at any like NVIDIA or suppliers of uh, computer chips and uh, gaming has, has become really big as people are unemployed or have to be home longer. They're, they're looking at home entertainment. Uh, so anything like that. But then also look for companies like Wynn Resorts that might come back uh, very quickly after a vaccine is developed. You know, we've, we've been in this situation over six months now uh, with COVID and I'd, it'll, be, it'll be interesting to come back and look at this uh, video after COVID uh, has been vaccinated and we found that cure. Um, but go ahead, keep your ear to the ground when you're looking at stocks and um, at the end of the day, invest in the S&P 500 index fund, like VFIAX, uh, invest in things that you know and love uh, because other people are probably gonna know and love them as well. Uh, if you love Walmart, go ahead and invest in Walmart. Um, and then invest in trends like uh, electronic vehicles that are coming and that are on the, the up and up. Invest in the war on cash. So Visa, MasterCard, PayPal, Venmo. Uh, and then take a look at the things that you know and love and take it one step further. Find their suppliers, find their competitors. Uh, who's trying to you know, take their market share and, and beat, the, beat that company um, and get the consumers from them. Plug into the market. It's a, it's a great way to feel involved with the worlds and you know what's going on with the economy and politics and uh, it just just brings you together with the rest of the world. So have fun out there. Uh, good luck in the market and stay safe. Coast to Chris out.